One thing that's been made abundantly clear this election cycle is that the rules don't apply to Hillary Clinton because she's above the law. Now, when you look at her super PACs and any pro-Clinton groups, that remains true because according to The Hill, a pro-Hillary group is violating campaign finance laws by taking money from companies that hold federal government contracts. They explain a super PAC backing Hillary Clinton has accepted 200,000 in donations from a company holding multiple contracts with the federal government despite a ban on such contributions. According to a review of contributions by The Hill, Boston-based Suffolk Construction made two contributions of $100,000 to Priorities USA, which is backing the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee. At the time it made the contributions, Suffolk held multiple contracts worth $976,000 with the Department of Defense and the US Military Academy. So now the question is, why would this matter? Well, it's because these donations from companies that have federal government contracts create a direct conflict of interest. So the Hill continues, the donations from Suffolk highlight how a 70 year old campaign finance law meant to prevent pay to play deals between public officials and companies making money from the government is often ignored by those making the donations and those on the receiving end. The practice of skirting or openly flouting the contractor ban has become widespread in both congressional and presidential politics. So the question now is why would anyone do this if they're openly breaking federal laws? Well, it's because the Federal Elections Commission is currently deadlocked. So even if they wanted to act, even if they wanted to prosecute people who do break campaign finance laws, they can't because they are now in a partisan split between Democrats and Republicans, so they cannot do anything. And furthermore, because of previous Supreme Court decisions such as Buckley v. Vallejo, uh, Citizens United, McCutcheon, well, lawyers are now arguing that this is unconstitutional, and if you actually accept prior precedent from the Supreme Court, well, it's likely the case that the Supreme Court would agree with that. So even if uh, Wolfpack, for example, saw that Priorities USA took $200,000 and violated campaign finance laws, and they decided to sue for this, well, what would happen? Eventually, this would get appealed to the Supreme Court, and Priorities USA would be validated. They would most likely contend that it's okay that contractors from the federal government actually donate to candidate super PACs. So here's what it essentially comes down to. Hillary Clinton's super PAC is violating campaign finance laws, and do you really want to pressure her to change anything because you could end up flipping rules and making it so that way this is legalized. And also her response can be, uh, yeah, you know, we're violating campaign finance laws. Yes, I do coordinate with my many super PACs. I have seven and yes, I coordinate with all of them. Uh, they even admitted to it. David Brock, who is the head of multiple pro Clinton super PACs, admitted that he coordinates with the Clinton campaign. Uh, so yeah, they coordinate and they're breaking campaign finance laws in a variety of ways. But the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to try to challenge Hillary Clinton, who represents the whole establishment, who's above the law? You're not. So all these candidates, they do this. They break campaign finance laws. They coordinate with their super PACs. Their super PACs break what little campaign finance laws we have. And there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. We are absolutely restricted from acting. The FEC is deadlocked. And meanwhile, our democracy is a complete joke because of this. So the fact that this is actually happening is not surprising because Hillary Clinton and pro-Hillary Clinton super PACs have proven that they will do any and everything required to win. They don't care if they have to slander Bernie Sanders, break the law, uh, and, and actually hurt our democracy. They don't care. The goal is for Hillary Clinton to win.